Almost 2 million people in the UK suffer from some form of sight loss and around 300,000 are blind or partially sighted. 180,000 of these people never go outside alone and are completely dependent on others. A guide dog would give independence to these people, however they cost around £45,000 to train, can only work for six years and are in short supply due to the cost and training required. The robotic solution costs around £1,000 to produce and would fully replace the core functionality of a guide dog. It is made of only easy sourceable parts so a shortage is unlikely. GPS navigation and other features could easily be added to the robot allowing it to build upon the current functionality of guide dogs. With maintenance a robot could last for decades in work and could be upgraded to keep it up to date. The robot is designed to be a direct swapping system for a guide dog so that no retraining of the user is necessary. This helps to minimise costs as well as allowing users to stay in their comfort zone. The prototype for the project has been built around an electric wheelchair frame. This is an ideal platform for testing but the final version will be much lighter and smaller. The robot detects the user's foot using a tracking algorithm and follows the user as if it were walking in stride. It corrects for rotation as well as translation and will not be confused by other feet or noisy backgrounds. Four pairs of stereoscopic cameras scan the entire area around the robot for obstacles and if the user is about to walk into one, the robots will pull on the lead guiding the user around the obstacle. Another camera on top checks for traffic to determine if it is safe to cross the road. Because a high level of accuracy is required at a low cost, existing techniques such as ultrasound or LiDAR were not suitable due to the poor resolution or high costs. This video shows the working prototype tracking to a user while checking for obstacles ahead. The user walks naturally and the robot responds in real time. The ideal situation for obstacle avoidance is an aerial image. If this is modelled as a square based pyramid with the top point as the camera and the bottom face as the image, the pyramid can be cut parallel to the bottom face, creating a square frustum. If each of these corners becomes a camera, the same image represented by the bottom face is produced but at a much lower height. Because more than one camera is used, the images can be combined stereoscopically to produce a disparity map of the local area. This is essentially a three-dimensional map of the environment to be navigated as if taken from the air. This allows the area to be navigated with millimetre accuracy without false negatives from boundaries such as tarmac joints and pavements at the cost of only four cameras.